Hey everyone, it's Stephen again, and I am so excited to be able to read a couple more stories here on the cozy chair. Now, my sister already read The Sneetches, and that's one of my very favorite Dr. Seuss's as well. But here in the Sneetch book, it says, and other stories. So I'm going to read two of the stories that are in this Sneetches book. The first one is called The Zacks. And the second one is called Too Many Daves. The Zacks. Can you say that? What a fun word to say, Zacks. One day, making tracks in the prairie of Prax, came a north-going Zacks and a south-going Zacks. Uh-oh. Where are they both headed? What do you think is going to happen? <clears throat> And it happened that both of them came to a place where they bumped, where they stood foot to foot, face to face. Look here now, the north going Zack said, I say, you are blocking my path, you are right in my way. I'm a north going Zack, and I always go north. Get out of my way and let me go forth. Who's in whose way? snapped the south-going Zax. I always go south, making south-going tracks. So you're in my way, and I ask you to move, and let me go south in my south-going groove. Then the north-going Zax puffed his chest up with pride. I never, he said, take a step to one side, and I'll prove it to you that I won't change my ways if I have to keep standing here for fifty-nine days. Do you think either one of them's gonna move? Let's find out. And I'll prove to you, yelled the south going Zax, that I can stand here in the prairie of Prax for 59 years. For I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in south going school, never budge. That's my rule, never budge in the least. Not an inch to the west, not an inch to the east. I'll stay here, not budging, I can and I will, if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Oh boy. Have you ever been in an argument like that? Not very good, huh? Well, of course the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, the highway came through and they built it right over those two stubborn Zacks and left them there standing unbudged in their tracks. The end. Well, I hope that you and I are not like the north going and the south going Zacks, because they are not willing to share or to give or to help one another. Okay, so here's the next story. This one's one of my very favorites. It's pretty short. It's called Too Many Daves. And this is just plain silly. Did I ever tell you that Mrs. McCabe had 23 sons and she named them all Dave? Isn't that crazy? Can you count 23 of those Daves? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Well, she did, and that wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wants one and calls, Yoo-hoo, come into the house, Dave, she doesn't get one. All 23 Daves of hers come on the run. Here come the Daves. <clears throat> this makes things quite difficult at the McCaves, as you can imagine with so many Daves, and often she wishes that when they were born, she had named one of them Bodvin. Van Horn, and one of them Who's Foos, and one of them Snim, and one of them Hotshot, and one Sunny Jim, and one of them Shadrach, and one of them Blinky, can you blink your eyes? And one of them Stuffy, and one of them Stinky, another one Putt Putt, another one Moonface, another one Marvin o Gravel Balloon Face, and one of them Ziggy, and one Soggy Muff. One Buffalo Bill and one Buffalo Buff. And one of them Sneepy and one Weepy Weed. And one of them Paris Garters and one Harris Tweed. 
and one of them Sir Michael Carmichael Zutt, and one of them Oliver Bolivar Butt, and one of them Zanzibar Butt Butt McFate. But she didn't do it, and now it's too late. Well, thanks, everyone, for letting me come to the Cozy Chair. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back for more happy Dr. Seuss fun. See you later.